three things that should never happen. One, Oscar De La Hoya should never host an MMA press conference again. When you think about Tito Ortiz, when you think about Chuck Liddell, you think about pioneers, you think about, you think about legends. And I mean, if you were to ask me, um, you know, who your favorite fighters are in, 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 in the... Two, you should never put salt on your watermelon. And last but most important, Chuck Liddell should never fight again. From the moment someone out there envisioned this event and thought to themselves, you know what would be a great idea? Let's have Chuck Liddell, a borderline senior citizen, let's have him fight Tito Ortiz one more time. Let's have him put a dent in a powerful legacy with a few dents in it already. Like how many times is Chuck Liddell supposed to get brain damage before everyone realizes, hey, no amount of money is actually worth watching this dude get KO'd again. I mean, let's review. Before this fight versus Tito, Chuck Liddell had three losses in a row, each one by brutal KO. He was KO'd by Rashad, then knocked out by Shogun, then flattened by Rich Franklin, and now he's also getting knocked out by Tito Ortiz, a man who has never knocked anyone out with strikes in his career before. That's your cue right there. It's done, man. It's over. It's over. Now, I don't know Chuck Liddell personally, so I can't realistically deeply have love for him, but I'm pretty sure the man has people in his life that love him. Not love him like fans love him, I mean really, really love the man. And I also understand that you can't stop a grown man from doing what a grown man wants to do. But for God's sake, for God's sake, do what you gotta do to ensure that Chuck Liddell never steps in that cage again. Because at this point, at this point, it's getting to a point where what we just witnessed could be described as blunt force trauma to the head. And that kills people. He was getting wobbled by jabs in there, man. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Go home. You've had a great career. You're a pioneer, a legend, a Hall of Famer, hopefully still a very wealthy man. You've got nothing more to prove, man. Just stop. And this time be done for good. And as for Tito Ortiz, man, you were really proud of that KO. You finally got him. Now granted, you had to wait for the man to become a cracked shell of his former self for you to finally get him, but hey, at the very least, you got your very first knockout, huh? It was so hilarious watching Tito trying to do his gravedigger antics as security interrupts him, and then in the interview afterwards, he was like, I wanted to box with Chuck. I wanted to test his skills. It's like... We didn't even really see you taking a shot attempt. How soon into that round did you realize, no, I'm winning this with boxing? The whole game plan was never to take, do a takedown. I, I wanted to box Chuck. I want to test his skills. You're not taking eight years off, coming back in my cage and trying to stop me. Hell no. Now you want to box with Chuck Liddell? Now you want to box with him, man? Anyways, at the very least, at the end there, he gave Chuck the, you know, the classic after the fight pretend surface respect. They shared a moment in the octagon, buried the hatchet, gave each other a nice warm bro hug. And, you know, with this amazing, amazing Golden Boy Promotions event, could, could we possibly see more of these? Maybe can Shamrock versus Hoist Gracie next? Have them do a nursing home style octagon brawl with their walkers, cane, and wheelchairs and hey look if the morality of this whole thing is called into question you could just say you know the classic all the proceeds from this event will be donated to charity you know it's for a good cause that usually shuts people up but uh seriously don't man this is not why i watch mma it is not why i started watching i have no interest in freak shows personally maybe you do but i don't man I want to watch two fighters in their prime at their very best showcasing their skills like Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega. An amazing incredible fight with two guys in their prime and I cannot wait to see it. Not two old men that have no business in the octagon or in a cage or in a ring or whatever stepping in there and taking more brain damage for my enjoyment. It's pathetic and it should never happen and I'm going to keep this thing short. But that's it. 
Let me know your thoughts on this fight in the comment section. I'll see you guys later.